Hi, how's it going? It's going well. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so, nice. uh, uh, you can introduce yourself and then uh, you can say what you want to talk about with me. Sure. Uh, my handle is Wolf Queen. Hell yeah. I am a, a newly made Wiccan as of this year, a few months ago. Mm hmm. I uh, saw your last video that you uploaded about Shad being a Shadiversity being a moron, which uh, who's who's that surprising anymore? Right. And I I saw that you wanted to talk to a Wiccan, and I was like, Yeah, I'm a Wiccan. Hell Let's yeah. go. Uh, and what are your pronouns? Uh, she, her. She, her. Okay. She, her, they. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um. So, and is just I might just say Wolf. Probably not. I don't think I'll say your name, but. Uh, probably too chat. I might is Wolf fine. Wolf Queen. Wolf is fine. Is it a? Uh, can I ask? This is a friendly question. Is it a furry thing? This is a uh, as a as a. <laughs> no, it's like a. It's actually like a quintuple entendre, but it's a bit to go into. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I was just interested. Uh, uh, I was seeing. I was trying to give you a little more street cred with chat, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, you said you were just recently uh. I guess converted is that what the word would be to Wiccan um, from from which persuasion were you prior? Uh, so as a child, I was like one of those like nominal Christians, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. I I didn't really like go to a church very often until like I was a teenager, and by then I was like, wow, this is kind of bullshit. <laughs> um, and then for a while after that, I was like atheist, like no gods, no masters. Uh, for like a couple years, and as of this year, uh, after uh, we call it Astara, it's one of the eight Sabbaths of the year. I saw a Facebook ad, for, or I saw a thing on Facebook about Pagan Pride, which tied to my current coven that I joined. Uh, not gonna say their name just to you know not have any problems there but i joined this coven and then i've been going to classes and doing the sabbat rituals ever since do you pay these people for that no okay. uh well uh, technically speaking we do have like dues that we give on our sabbats but 100 percent of it goes to sure. goes to charities okay sure uh anyway um <laughs> okay so I actually see a lot of apostates from, I mean, mostly Christianity because I'm an American, but I see a lot of apostates turn to something like paganism or Wiccan after a period of uh, what they would call atheism, but I think I would call like, um, there's a word for it, now I'm forgetting about it, like misotheism, where you you just sort of have, like, have, have anger towards the process. Um, and I don't find, typically when people say they were atheists, that they had a good foundation of why they were can i ask you what made you not want to be a christian anymore totally fair um well i'm trans uh <laughs> that'll, that, and... sure socially that'll definitely push a needle right yeah yeah uh and, and so i can't uh, imagine the experience was well received not not really no Sorry no um that's okay. Yeah, I'm trans and I'm bisexual. And okay. even when I was like in high school, I was like, wow, this, uh, this hatred that we have towards queer people is pretty bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh, so and a lot of it was being pushed by like religious, almost entirely by like religious arguments, right? Like God, yeah. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve and it, like it, all that other. Yeah, it's pretty hard ridiculous to be crap. Secular and be bigoted about that <laughs> specific, like, because just as a, as a person who is, a, I consider myself a naturalist, and I think most pagans are kind of on board with that. Like, a, a, I assume like natural evolution and stuff exists, or yeah, okay. Um, and so, uh, for me, it's just like <sighs> I see a lot of people. Uh, cordoned into social behaviors that are typically antisocial, like being transphobic or homophobic or whatever, um, through that religious belief, uh, instead of just acknowledging that we're, we're literally animals that share this planet together, right? So, right. Um, but I'm interested in why, so that doesn't sound like a reason not to be religious, though that seems like a re reason not to like go to this church. 
Does that make um, sense? Like it doesn't seem like a faith mm. issue. No, right. I understand. Like, like I said, I was, I was like a nominal Christian. Like I already had like a pretty big, like, uh, I, I didn't exactly trust like the church authority on things because like, even when I was young, I knew about like various scandals that had happened with, with churches. And like, I think the reason why I got kicked off of Christianity writ large was just like, like it wasn't just a behavior confined to a certain church, you know. Like mm -hmm. the, the 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 like reflexive like bigotry that they displayed was a common thing among a lot of churches that I saw. Like like the the Mormons. I've I've had people who are friend who are yeah. from that church who are just like yeah they it's just they just say that black people are bad people. Oh just, yeah, just out of hand. Yeah, or Mor like Mormonism is pretty extreme. Yeah, or just like even the smaller stuff, just like oh well, you can't be gay because like God says that that's bad, and I don't think that you're a bad person because you're gay, but I think you're doing bad things. It just mm -hmm. it was a it was a behavior that I noticed from pretty much every Christian person that I ever really met. I do think disassociating your actions with the quality of your character is bad, and I think that's a thing that religious people do well specifically i guess <laughs> dogmatic like christians but where it's where they have this they have this uh like dualistic view it's like it's like two different people the person that actually does bad stuff every day and the person that you really truly know this person actually is um and i just think that doesn't like it doesn't matter your actions are what determines whether or not you're a good person or not exactly i'm i'm of the same belief personally yeah. Um, okay, so I think we have a pretty decent baseline. Like, it, it doesn't sound to me like you have a skeptical point of view on this. Like, you're not a Christian because it didn't treat you well. Which is, f like, not... a lot of people's experience, but... Yeah, I mean, I came out as trans relatively recently, too. So, like, I didn't experience, like, the, the full court press, you know. But just, like seeing how they behaved with other people, seeing the like ridiculous things that they would say or uh, like, like um, re re one of the things that I read when I was younger was one of the stupid Bill O'Reilly books, <laughs> suffering, terrible suffering. But like, <clears throat> even like, just like openly saying like, oh yeah, HIV is, is God's curse to gays. And I'm like, okay, so why should I be cool with this? Why, why should I worship this person? Kind of sounds like you're saying like they're a genocidal prick, and if you read the Bible, yeah. well, yeah, uh, problem of evil is definitely <laughs> one that comes up. Um, so how it seems like the transition into paganism, uh, and I, I suppose is is Wicca a specific type of paganism? I actually don't know how. I, they, I kind of use them interchangeably, but are they interchangeable? Um, not really. Wicca is a form of paganism, okay. but paganism in today's modern society is largely like anything that isn't Abrahamic in nature. That's kind of how it was back in the day, too. I didn't know if you had um, being part of that community. I didn't know if you had like a, well, sure, a but less. Like there's... A, a, I don't know. I feel like my my viewpoint on it is uh, is uh, like I've never seen. I don't know how you organize, I guess. Um, because it's obviously a little le more clandestine than a typical, uh, you know, money-backed religion. Yeah, it's true. That That is accurate. Um, but yeah, it's just that there's so many different kinds of being a pagan. Like, there's Norse mm -hmm. pagans mm -hmm. who don't do any of the rituals that we would do. Like, they don't do Sabbaths. They don't do, like, Yule logs. Stuff like that. There, there's a lot of different forms of being a pagan. My... Yeah. My religion, my coven, being Wiccan, is its own thing. With that, even has its own doctrinal separations between like covens and such. But that's like on the same basis as like different congregations, I sure. guess I would yeah, say. Yeah. Um. So, <clears throat> so, what what draws you to believe in this? What convinces you of its trueness? Um. <laughs> It's gonna sound like a bunch of woo, and I get it. But um, I just well, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's the nature. But that's, that's the nature of woo, right? 
Exactly. That's why I'm here. I'm trying not to be wholly I... disrespectful because you seem like a nice and not shithead person. But, you know, it is. Uh, I, you know, it's, I get it's, it. It's hard for me to talk about this without sounding crass. So. <clears throat> no, honestly, like, do what you want. Like, I, I, yeah, okay. I mentioned it in the chat, but I've, sure. I've been watching your content on YouTube okay. for a minute now. Yeah. So I, I kind of know how it is, yeah. but, but I, I do I, appreciate like, I don't be... that you want to. Yeah. You personally, I don't really have, like, beef with you know you haven't said anything that i think is contemptible <laughs> cool, cool cool love that hope that can keep going uh <laughs> we'll see what happens with the ethical questions that seem but i don't think usually this conversation is just like well it sort of makes me feel nice <laughs> typically perfect totally down glad glad to have this as a first experience if that's what ends up happening uh, yeah, so I guess um, uh, just to reframe it, uh, what is what compels you to believe that this is a true thing that Wicca is? A... Sure. Yeah. I at first I wasn't a hundred percent sure. I was just like, hey, there are these classes. Like I did an interview. Like I can just go in, and if it's not anything that I'm really interested in, then I can just kind of dip, whatever. Um, but then like I started going to the introductory classes for my coven. Uh, and then I got invited to visit one of the Sabbaths, not to actually participate because you actually have to like chant things and have things memorized, yada, yada. Can you describe this <clears throat> to me? So you've said there's eight Sabbaths. I assume it's similar to Sabbath, like it is a day of observant observance for some kind of uh, seasonal happening. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um there's eight Sabbaths, and I'm going to pull up the actual lists because I'm terrible at remembering the actual thing, and I don't want to misrepresent. Sure. Wheel of the Year. Cool. Yeah. The Wheel of the Year, which is... <laughs> um... <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, Yule, which is the Winter Solstice. Mm -hmm. Uh Imbolg, otherwise known as Candlemas, in February, Spring Equinox, which is Ostara, which is when I put in my application for my coven. Mm -hmm. And that's the first uh, one you attended? Beltane. No, no, no. Uh, Beltane was my first one. Okay, so what was that like? <clears throat> uh, Beltane. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, most of the day, I live in I live in Vegas, uh, and we went up to Mount Charleston. And most of the day was spent like preparing the site, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, raking out rocks, getting rid of trash, making sure the trash was thrown away properly, uh, making sure that the ground was even, yada yada. And then it was uh, prepping the ring, so like figuring out which of the directions was where, uh, putting stones out for, to mark it out. It was. Like, I could go through the, the whole thing, but essentially it was just, like, prepping the ring and then resting and hearing some of the history of the coven and then uh, watching the actual ritual from the outside. And it just... It felt good. <laughs> I can't That's say anything thought, yeah. much more than that. Yeah. Like, it, like um, it was just... It was to nice concert? to hear the... Yeah, I've been to a concert. Okay. My my first like <laughs> real concert was with my partner, and yeah, it it, it does feel good, but it didn't. Yeah. It was. It's not the same feeling. If, well, if no, I because the so. intent isn't like, oh, I'm going to experience a holy thing. The, the, the intent is we're going to go see Boney Bear play. Like, you know, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. So, like, okay, this is usually the conversation. So it usually is like, oh, it feels nice, and then I ask. Okay, but that doesn't mean it's fucking true. It's true. You're so, you're hundred percent right. Okay, and so... I could I can I will <laughs> gladly admit that I could be wrong. So why can't you be an be atheist wrong. who hangs out with Wiccans? Right? I just I felt the calling of a goddess. That's what it is. Oh. I, f I felt the ca the calling of a goddess, and I dedicated myself to her name before I even okay. went into. Okay, so now we have to talk about goddesses. Life. So which goddess? And are there many, is it like a, is it like, how am I, how am I to, I assume it's not nearly as omnipresent as like a monotheistic God would be, um, typically, uh, right. nature-y sort of vibes. For, for a lot of them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, my goddess specifically 
uh, is Inanna, Queen of the Heaven, mm -hmm. who is a Sumerian deity also that became translated into Ishtar and Astarte uh, by different uh, different societies in the region. Uh, the Queen of Heaven, uh, goddess of love, physical love, goddess of war, goddess of beer and wine, um, goddess of... of a lot of things there's actually one of her legends is like she goes to the to the high deity of the sumerian pantheon and like gets him drunk and then like keeps telling him she wants a a, a portfolio and he's like yeah sure have it <laughs> uh but that that is my goddess um i worship her by uh lighting incense offering food and wine offerings beer offerings i have not yet done sex magic that is a thing but i've not done that how is sex magic? Um, you just cast spells while you're fucking? Is that pretty much the whole thing? Pretty like, much. Like, like, you like do a ritual, he, I, ritual fuck? The, the ritual is not entirely part of the thing. It's like uh, beforehand, I get, I'm thinking, I like I said, I haven't done one yet, but as I'm told, it's like beforehand, you, you, you consider what you want to do with the ritual and you do some stuff like, uh, in my case, I would put out an offering for my goddess and I would light some incense and mm -hmm. I would focus on my intent and then do the act excuse me uh do the act while focusing on the energies and the intent of what i wish to do with that magic. Ooh, i watched a video about someone that was talking about essentially this but from a um uh <clears throat> god he was like a semi-toxic pickup artist manosphere but he was like Oh no! But it was like, okay, but now you bagged your wife. How to keep her happy? <laughs> it's like, um, what, masturbation sigils. Oh, well, I don't. We don't need to talk about it. each individual sigil. I don't know. Uh, okay, so if I were to ask you for any kind of like, I don't know how to do that. Power level? Like, what do we? What? What's the influence we're expecting? What is the? What is the like? How much effect do you think this actually has on your on reality and the world? And is it like I, tulpa rules? Like, if more of us believe it, the stronger they get. I am of the belief that magic is all around us in general. Mm -hmm. um, that it can be used by people, not even who exactly like worship things that I do or anything, but just like uh, have the belief that they can do something incredible. Um, and I'm of the belief that, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, I'm of the belief that, um, anyone can really do it. And my, my focus on it is just my own thing and the people who are in my coven. And as for how much effect it has, like, I do have some personal anecdotal stories if you want. Some. <laughs> for sure. We love an anecdote. Cool, cool, cool. So um, my first, like I said, my first uh, Sabbath was Beltane, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's in May. Um, and the, the thing was, like, they gave me a candle and was like, hey, so you're going to write this thing on a piece of parchment in Thetan, and it's going to say what you wish for. Mm -hmm. And you're going to burn the candle when you get home. Yeah. So... This is, this is, so I don't even know if this is a Wiccan thing. This is like, like, can crystal moms do this kind of stuff? They, they, you're not wrong. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I took the candle home and I wished, I wrote down and I wished the whole thing, spent the whole night staring at the skin candle so I didn't burn down my house. <laughs> uh, wished that I could uh, love people freely and be and receive love in turn. Right. Yeah. Pretty, pretty simple. And uh, in the time since, I've had a bunch of people express their interest to me. Yeah. And uh, I already had a partner beforehand, but I uh, came out as Polly like right before I joined the coven. Um, yeah. And so this and is now like a month I, ago or whatever, right? You said within a month? Uh, so it was uh, Beltane. So that was in May. Well, so, I mean, from, I mean, sorry, I probably said that right. <laughs> so from a, a month from when you left Christianity or so? No, no, no. I left, I, I wasn't, I kind of stopped and like disengaged from Christianity like 
five years ago. Oh, okay. So um, it's been a minute. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, so you, when did you come out? As being trans? Uh, yeah, I mean, in whatever way that, yeah. Like, this sounds like it coincides sure. with you being more, more happy with yourself. Yes, right. by a lot. All right, um, so I don't think... I came out as trans in 2016, 2017. Okay. Like, yeah. right on the cusp. And then when you met these people, were they quite accepting of you? The coven? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. They're so, they're so yeah. nice, actually. Of course, right. And so... Um, and like they haven't been demanding money of me right. like i have to do classes and i have to like help yeah. out at sabbaths and occasionally i'll like volunteer to help out with something but that's the, the no okay uh like i said they, they gather uh, but that's okay, they gather but... money for for the sabbaths but then like i said everything is yeah, put in for donations for and the they have receipts right yeah um i mean it, it does sometimes are scammy but i mean it sounds like you have found a group of people that <laughs> like this fun thing uh yeah, I mean, it sounds like you found a f bunch of friends. That's great, but it, I don't think that's spiritual. This happens with people. I, I like. I okay, so so when I see this, just I I get it, but also as it like, I feel like it discounts the 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 life building that you yourself have done the work that you have done to get away from a worse situation and into a better one both for your personal life and and your social life and like like it just seems like it coincides with with of course right i mean it just seems like of course this would happen and i feel like if you were in it if you hadn't gone there and you had gone to like a painting class i feel like you'd have the same experience <laughs> Or okay, whatever, terrible, whatever you're into. I'm a terrible artist. Yeah, I don't know, I like can't. a, like a, you know, like fucking what? I don't know, a, a a bar league trivia class that you really like, or a D and D group, or a, you know, it sounds like you you found a community, and that's excellent. But it, it doesn't sound like any reason to believe a thing to me. You're you are right. I did find in the community, and honestly, like they've been so point. nice. Like one of them, I, I'm trying not to go into anecdotes because I know you have a limited amount of time. But like one of them have had me like do gain an experience that I haven't had before, and it was wonderful and affirming. And I found a partner there. Yeah. After <laughs> it was wild. Anyway, it's just like I feel like there is like a a pretty concrete difference between just like a painter's class or like a, a, a trivia group and my coven. And a lot of that is like related to like the history Have you ever played and how game? much like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm actually making my own tabletop game right now. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, I could talk about that forever. I'll but... tell you about it later if oh, you want, yeah. but uh, join the corn community. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's I just, mean, just just I, from my perspective, my my my, I'm out here. You, you have a bunch of these life events that stack up all at once, like right near this time when this is also happening. And having been a religious person prior, you're going to be prone to this kind of thing because every single every single one of you, and I say one of you because I just you're all over the place. It's just ex-religious people, it, all of you are prone. To, to like the ways of thinking that I just never feel find compelling and I th it's gotta be it's gotta be this it's gotta be this this religious thing because it, it seems like there's a a looking into I don't know there's almost like a symbolism oh this happened at the same time this uh this you know it felt different but like You've talked yourself into this before with when when you were religious trying to like feel Jesus or whatever like you when when people are like oh you got to feel the spirit and you're praying uh how how music happens in the in the church setting and then like you just do it again and now in a place that's affirming in a place where you like the people and you feel like you can be open and yourself and like of course yeah it's going to be emotional it's going to be uh, you're going to get up high and stuff like I mean, it just sounds, it sounds not, inevitable. I would, I would think a psychiatrist would say the same thing. Like, they'd be like, well, it seems like maybe, wrong. maybe.
maybe we're rushing <laughs> into a belief system because we had a good time. You're you're not wrong. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I am I am just saying that like at least for me, it could be possibly that all these things happen like in a coincidence. Or maybe it is actually just me being like, look, there's a sign, you know? Um yeah. but but I I just like it feels like on my end that there's a good dynamic. There's a lot of history with this group. It's been going on since like the seventies or something. The, the, the ritual and like the, 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 the recitation and the, the, the whole effort that goes into it, it does feel magical. Um, and when I participated in my first Sabbath ritual, this Samhain, uh, Halloween Samhain, mm -hmm. um, and I, I was cold first off. I was wearing a fucking, I was wearing a fucking <laughs> midriff outfit and skirts and shit. But I was, it felt, I felt like there was something bigger than myself in the ring with me, with the, with the rest of us. Yeah. And that's that's all that's that's what I got. I <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like the, the a very normal human emotion of euphoria. Like it, it sounds it sounds like you had a good night. It sounds like you're having good times. Like and I do have to admit like I'm like I said I'm a newcomer. Yeah. So my I can't like debate on like the finer <laughs> points of like the the horn god versus like the 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 <laughs> sorry that be i can't really like baphomet is one of the representations of such yes yeah I, a... I used to have a baphomet statue around here um fuck yeah yeah i mean i <laughs> so not none of it's compelling um and i it's interesting that you agree that there's like yeah i don't really have a good reason but i like it and that's usually what i get from people from this it's that's usually i'm just trying to be as honest as i can i appreciate you know? it i like, mean look i it's hard for me to be like well you shouldn't you shouldn't do the thing um because i think uh i think it's mostly harmless unless uh this is usually my caveat you make big life decisions about it like some people some people like really you see you see stars or in retrograde or some shit and you're like well i guess I, I have to do this or i can't do this or i you know this other person I, you start having ideas about how other people are gonna fucking act and you they get a little you get a little wacky people get a little wacky when they when they start <laughs> doing this shit and it doesn't it starts you know it's not necessarily as dogmatic or harmful as christianity might be but it seems to be individually gets to be harmful at times to people so I guess for me, all I would say is uh, it would be awesome to see what real skepticism would look like uh, from your perspective. Because um, I don't think, I don't think, you, I think you, you've you gone in seeking rather than questioning, which is, you know, what's going to happen a lot of time when you're an apostate looking for a community. Yeah, I mean... I suppose, yeah, I suppose that could be true. And like I said, I'm I'm trying to be like as honest and forthright with you as possible because I know you don't appreciate like people bullshitting or like <laughs> being like sanctimonious about I things. Really like I, I've watched yeah. your stuff. I've yeah, watched yeah, yeah. your stuff. I know what's I know what's up. Yeah, but like, well, you can I, have an emotional response, and that's valid though. Like your emotions are real. It doesn't mean that like what you think is causing the emotions is real. That's not a, that's not evidence for the thing. And so it does, it's not compelling. And when you, when you say, or anyone else says, uh, you know, I mean, it just makes me happy. It's like, I mean, yeah, sure. As long as you're not making harmful decisions about yourself, about that. And usually if the group isn't, uh, that you join, isn't being predatory towards its people, which often happens in these fringe spaces that don't have a lot of oversight. You know, it's, you know, your vibe in general is not weird, though. I think you'd fit right in with everybody here. We have lots of pagans. <laughs> or at Love least that. a handful. Enough Love of them. them. <laughs> That's good to hear. I just, 
like I said, I, I, I devoted myself to this goddess and like, it, yeah, everything kind of just followed followed as it were and yeah it, it like i said it could just be all a coincidence okay so like, i think if i think if you, i think if you genuinely were like i'm not gonna i don't believe in this goddess and then you just did all the stuff anyway you'd have the same exact experience and nothing would change because the goddess is does, doesn't affect anything uh but the know. community is what so, it is honestly. uh you know does everyone in the group earnestly believe yeah oh yeah um and how many would you say I, you are in total uh, like more than a couple dozen or... i'd say i'd say around a dozen a little more than a dozen you know what i don't, I don't want think to i don't like think they're allowed numbers. i think which law means you can only have like a small coven i don't <laughs> I that's think true. that's a thing with this group i don't <laughs> well, like witches have laws anyway uh, fake news sorry fake, that's uh, definitely <laughs> fake news um hmm hmm what okay here's a question that i don't ask many people who have faiths why are you averse to just like existing in a world without any supernatural stuff like does it does it ick you does it make you uncomfortable does it give you anxiety or is it just like you don't even consider it no, not really. Um, honestly, I'm, I consider myself a humanist. I believe that, above all, human beings have the capability and slowly the understanding to like make in, to make themselves like masters of their environment in a good way, not the way that we've been doing it with capitalism. Um, <laughs> masters of themselves, masters of, of like a highly, masters of making ourselves better. A highly capitalist pagan would be fucking mind blowing. I'm sure it exists. I die. That would be mind blowing. Like, why are you a pagan? I don't. <laughs> what do you like about Wall Street? Um, I'm literally worshiping Wall Street. Oh no! Oh no! Fucking yeah! Uh, yes, the money of the universe. I don't know what it would um, be. the the American dollar, the universal currency. Yeah, true. True. Supply side. Something like wicked. the universal cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's like so that. good i don't like that i need to use that yeah. oh no oh man uh, okay, okay so the earth um, is like the universe is the scientifically agreed upon age and everything we're good yeah fuck yeah okay fuck yeah um I, any anything that you think that i don't know is there anything you want out of this conversation like i i I'm not super interested in trying to push you off of this belief right now in this stage of your life. <laughs> I, mean, you I, can. Think, I think totally, by, totally us, I think by osmosis, if you hang out in this community, you, you will eventually just wane off. <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe you'll, you, maybe you, maybe you this totally maybe can. maybe the Wicked doesn't usually dispute Well, sometimes they dispute science. For instance, magic. So <laughs> There's no evidence for magic, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to make you. Uh, like you've just been a vibes-based person. You haven't once said here's evidence for anything. You're just like, yeah, it's a vibe. Uh, what? What ev Like that's the thing. Like what? What evidence could I give you? Well, so I have actually... evidence for electromagnetism. I have evidence for gravity. We have evidence for time. We have evidence for space. We have evidence for material sure. and atoms and energy and you know magic suffuses everything. It would be a, 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 a something we would have access to seeing. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, or measuring or or testing you certainly if we could cast a spell we could do it more than once and we could see it happen um yeah i don't know this doesn't seem like we do i mean at that point like yeah you're right we, we do have the evidence after like years of study years of study hard work from thousands of hundreds of people what's and like the evidence for it's, magic it's, Magic is no, no, no for for like physics and, oh, and yeah, like yeah, space yeah. and I see. So it's an unexplored but, sort of yeah, yeah, and like a lot of it, is, a lot of magic is like really personal. Like what would work for me is like I'm worshiping this love and war goddess. Probably isn't going to work for like this person who's like a Gaia worshiper. You know? Sure, I guess. But I, I 
think we can agree that paganism purports to be much older than these religions, right? Like, like oh, it's, it, I, should be, I, it should be like, should we know about this? Should we know about well, it? One thing that I that I'm like fully understanding and like agree with you with is like especially Wiccanism being Wiccan. Like Wiccanism has not existed since for like thousands of years. Like since the witches were burned, you know. Okay. Like it's it's right. a collection of 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 like past of things from past societies that have like been coalesced into this this like more codified version of rituals and stuff from from ages past but that doesn't mean like there's a direct line or anything sure like i, I guess i don't mean like in a catholic sense but <laughs> like it, it i guess there should be <laughs> so i made a dnd joke you get spells based on your patron deity uh so yeah like cure yeah, wounds yeah, sure. cure wounds is a first level so i should be able to see you be able to repeat the same spell over and over but I, why did why isn't that a thing we can do why isn't I mean why isn't repeatable I, science? I'd probably have cause wounds to be honest. So or like, or like, like remotely with magic? No well like from a D D perspective, uh, like as I worship a, a, a war goddess and a sex goddess. Like a... I I probably have cause wounds more than I have cure wounds. Fair. Oh, but I like see. yeah. I probably what magic would look like for me is just like i am in a fight and i suddenly get a burst of strength and i can fight my way out of it or i okay. managed to seduce this random person who came up to me at a ren fair and asked for my phone number Ooh, incredible but, that happened but but why can't some what, <laughs> but that happens to people without goddesses it, yeah yep yeah you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a it sounds like adrenaline, and someone was attracted to you. You you shouldn't have been cute, I guess. Like, <laughs> shouldn't have been so dang cute. <laughs> Dread player robots, thanks. I, so I, I don't know. People can... excuse me. <laughs> Just like <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I tend to hear. It's like, well, yeah, that's a that's someone's day. It's just a day. You had a day. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm if not going to like you charmed like, no, every I... fucking person there and like made them bow to you or something like if you if you could do something that would make me go, oh, well, that's not really that explainable. But someone being like, I'm going to shoot my shot is quite explainable in my opinion, especially at Ren Fair. That place is horny as fuck. Yeah, I was about to say, you don't know how many queer people actually came up to me were asking for me to like yeah, hang out with them. Well, that's what I said. Number. Well, hey, yeah. We went to Ren Fair too. There's a bunch of cuties. It happens. Lots of queer people. Uh -huh. Big queer rep at that place. I'm the only a lot of cuties. Oh man. I'm just a, Oh man. I feel like uh I feel like such a weird token hang at Ren Fair. <laughs> Jeffrey, you're not a token. Oh, I'm not. We I'm not queer coded you. at all. Okay, I am fucking you don't have socks to be. and sandals you're... energy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, it was delightful talking uh, about this. If we, I would love to, as your journey unfolds, I would love to see if you could, if you could satisfy my evidence um, seeking at any point um, down the line. If you're interested in that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, uh, we'd sure. love to have you in chat. You're a wonderful. Yeah. You were a wonderful time. Do my best. Thank you. I appreciate it. Glad I'm. I had a great time too. This is a. This is a wonderful first time. I could have been getting called slurs the whole time. <laughs> Fuck. Please no. <laughs> no. Uh, excellent. Okay. Uh, well, thank you, Wolf Queen, uh, for everything. I appreciate the conversation. This was interesting. Not a lot of not You're a lot welcome. of uh, Wiccan people like to come have a, a talk. Yeah. One hundred percent. I've been been a fan. You said the thing. I was like, "That's me." So That's here me. I am. Hell yeah! All right. Uh, love it. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye. Uh, all right. That was a lovely conversation. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, obviously, I mean, I don't think I'm quite compelled to believe any of the stuff, but I appreciate that there wasn't like this cognitive dissonance, because um, that's. I have been blocked for suggesting that horoscopes might not be accurate.
before by like people I know in real life. <laughs> I haven't blocked those. Horoscopes might not be accurate. So it can get touchy. It can get touchy. So I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the candor. Um, yeah, it was great. 